What y'all working on? We're just about to uh, Man. plan out some activities. The youth pastor. March, paintball. <whistles> April, Six Flags. July, team camp. Hey, you know what? Did y'all know about that? Uh -huh. So, what if you... How doing? Eating. 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 All these babies. So we're here at the house with Josh and Steven, and uh, Josh and Steven are both, it's okay for me to vlog this, vlog it. expressed a, that they feel as though the Lord's calling them to preach, and so um, we're going through something. It's called What Every Pastor Ought to Know by Adrian Rogers, and it's a 10-disc set. Uh, I've been through it, I've actually went through it a couple times, just sometimes just for a refresher and encouragement, but... Uh, Adrian Rogers is one of my favorite preachers of all times, and um, in my opinion, one of the best pastors and preachers of the 20th century. So, but anyways, so we about to get started. Y'all ready to go to school? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Classic burger. The classic burger. Six bucks on Wednesday. Oh yeah. Does that include fries? It includes a side of your choice. The classic tavern burger. Mm. Or you could choice a hamburger. Six bucks. We can't beat that. Six bucks. And it's, it's just on Wednesday. On Wednesday. And they do a jam up job on sweet potato fries. You know what I have for lunch today? Oh look, come on, break it off of it. Homemade biscuits and deer sausage with some jelly and cheese on there. I hear you, I'm Ooh. good. Woo! Yeah. It's I'm good. about the jelly with the cheese, bro. Uh -huh. I'm here playing <laughs> no. These two prophets, Moses and Elijah, are gonna show up in the midst of the Great Tribulation, and uh, they're going to be preaching. They're going to be preaching. And let it be a blessing again to hear. Let me remind you, I've said it before, and we need to remember again, people can and will be saved in the midst of the Great Tribulation. Okay? And God's grace is always shown forth, regardless of the dispensation. And it just depends upon whether or not they believe the truth or they believe a lie. If they receive that mark, they'll die and go to hell. But if they reject the mark and wait on the Messiah, they can be saved. Mm -hmm. 